Hi, I'm Terry Crews, and I've been drawing my whole life, and I'm gonna do a little speed drawing right here, and we'll see what happens. My mom was very religious, and there was a lot of things we could not do. Uh, I could not go to the movies. We could not listen to secular music. She was like, just sit down and be quiet. Well, the deal was for me, it was drawing. I had no idea that art would be so pivotal. To be honest, I never, ever wanted to act. My whole thing was going to be being behind the scenes. I saw myself as a special effects artist. I even had my portfolio in at Disney for a little time. And then all of a sudden, the acting thing just kind of took hold because I have a friend of mine invited me to an audition. I went and I got the first thing that I auditioned for, which is a TV show called Battle Dome. And lo and behold, I was in the business as an actor. The biggest challenge with drawings is learning how to see. Everything is a shape. Everything is a circle, a square, a triangle. And when you learn to look and see things three-dimensionally, you start to see everything like that. Anyone can learn to draw, but the, the question is learning how to see. First of all, do it for the love. Do not do art for money. You know, the term starving artist is for real. You know, it's funny because people used to see my artwork and go, oh my God, it's so good. You should make, you're gonna make a lot of money. And that's the first thought. But the, the, the deal is you don't make money in art. You make money with ideas. Michelangelo would make a sculpture. And then there were all these artists that would come out of the woodwork and basically copy it. But Michelangelo is the one who got the money. But all these artists who were really, really good basically didn't get any money for doing the copies. And what I realized is that the money's in the ideas. And we have to come up with more ideas in order to be a truly, truly successful artist. My, my book basically, uh, Come Find Me, was an amazing book that I just re-released. We did it 20 years ago. And that book was so pivotal because I actually drew two African-American kids playing hide and go seek with my friend who wrote the book, Ken Harvey. And it was amazing because I, you know, when I was a kid, all the, all the, the first time readers had blonde haired, blue eyed kids in them and didn't represent us. And to have that book out in the marketplace, I'm still super proud of it and I can't wait to do more. I'm gonna do more of the, uh, definitely more children's illustration books. This is a five minute drawing. That's great. Of the horses. <laughs>